Manchester Village is resuming a study of its zoning and land use regulations with the goal of updating and modernizing its bylaws. Funded through a state grant and with the consulting support of the Bennington County Regional Commission, the study envisions neighborhood walks, public workshops, and meetings with the goal of finalizing the village zoning maps and ordinances by the end of January 2025. This round of the process got launched on Wednesday, March 27th, with a meeting at the former county courthouse building at the corner of Main and Union Streets, where Janet Hurley, the Assistant Director and Planning Program Manager for the Bennington County Regional Commission, or BCRC, gave a presentation and overview of what the project would involve to the Manchester Village Planning Commission and a group of local residents. The purpose of the effort is to modernize the land use and development regulations to address 21st century challenges um, such as climate resilience, housing needs, um, historic preservation needs of the community. And this next phase um, is being supported by another municipal planning grant that the village secured just this past fall. Um, and it will fund further work to, to bring the land use and development regulations into the modern age. <laughs> so here, um, next slide, Karen, is a breakdown of the project tasks and the timeline. So the task one, review of data and policy, um, that's something that the BCRC staff has largely tackled, but we'll continue to work on a little bit through June. And today um, is the project kickoff, and um, it's just to set the stage for the public efforts that are going to follow. The outreach will provide, the public outreach that we're going to be doing will provide the basis for any revised zoning district lines and changes of dimensional standards or use standards for each district that um, is conceived. The goals of this effort are multifold. They include ensuring that zoning districts encapsulate distinct character areas within the village, um, that the district dimensional standards and the use allowances reflect desired form of development in each of those distinct character areas, uh, to address housing needs of the community, to protect historic and natural resources in the village, uh, and to streamline the development review and permit process. Janet Hurley went on to explain that an earlier study done in 2021 showed that there were many disparities between what the village zoning bylaws call for and what actually exists on the ground. Your designated center, if you look at this map, is outlined in the pink here. And um, it, it starts up here uh, north of uh, uh, along Main Street where um, the Crooked Ram sits and um, extends south to the Episcopal Diocese building and across the street. Um, it includes the Equinox Hotel, the, um, the Reluctant Panther, the Taconic Hotel campuses. It includes our favorite restaurant right here, Silver Fork, <laughs> which used to be the Mark Skinner Library. Um, the intern found extensive zoning nonconformance among the parcels as shown on this map and slide. The analysis showed that nearly all parcels in the designated village center showed zoning nonconformance. The village center designation, for those who aren't too familiar with it, is part of a state program that confers points for grant applications by the municipality and provides incentives to property owners with undertaking development activities within the designated um, boundary. So just quickly, um, I just wanted to show you these um, individual parameters that the intern looked at. Most dramatically, the highlighted parcels shown here, 97% of the parcels in the designated center do not meet the minimum front setback required by current zoning. She, um, the parcels highlighted here, 78% do not meet the minimum required side setback. 
the parcels shown here in light blue, 67% do not meet the minimum lot width required by current zoning. The parcels shown here in red, 66% are below the minimum lot size allowed by current zoning. She also looked at, um, she assessed rear yard, building coverage, and open space conformance, which you know, appear to be a little bit better than the previous uh, dimensional standards um, discussed. And so although this exercise included only a small portion of the entire village, it is indicative of um, the, the idea that current zoning may not reflect desired form of development. The next step for the study will be a visioning workshop that will be held sometime towards the end of May. The Planning Commission is hopeful the community will turn out for this and other events that are being planned for the second half of the year to share and offer their ideas and input. After the meeting ended, we had a chance to talk with Richard Heilman, the chairman of the Planning Commission, about the project. I think it really started out that we were looking at our zoning bylaws and looking at current statutes and regulations that have changed and re realized that there were a lot of things that were very, very out of step. Uh, we struggled with that for over a year with our initial grant and made the changes that made it compliant with most of the statutes that had been enacted at that point. Uh, since that time, there have been more changes from Montpelier uh, that we have to deal with. But more than that, I think we realized that as we looked at the format of our zoning regulations, uh, they were in such a form and had been edited numerous times that it was very, very hard to follow unless you had been involved with them for years and years. I think our uh, our people on the zoning board you know, felt comfortable with it, but not too many other people, uh, particularly people coming and trying to do a project in town, found it very cumbersome and hard to follow. Uh, so we did do a preliminary readjustment of that with the help of VCRC at that point. Uh, we would have liked to have been able to continue and complete that, but we were really running out of time from our initial grant to really be able to do that. Uh, so we again applied for a second grant. And since that time, I'm really glad we did because with our timeline on the initial changes we made, we were never able to get into the community development and visioning kinds of things that are going to be a part of this process over the next year. Uh, we have two years to complete this according to the grant. Uh, we anticipate most of it being done within a year, uh, but again, sometimes things create delays. It's kind of nice to feel like we have that little bit of a cushion uh, behind us. Identifying the ideal character of the distinct areas of the village and ensuring the zoning regulations reflect that will be at the core of this project. For the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.